Mnet and the SABC must not cry if Louis Leight uh, now wants to play with the big player. So there you have a supporter in principle saying, if you want to make a big deal, then you can. There's no ob argument there. That's the other thing, but you also should have read the others. others. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying it's not unanimous no, against no, no, you. No, 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 no. The, the fact of the matter is I, I, cannot, I will not get any, any, anything from these papers. Mm. Was the timing of this announcement right, do you think, the day before the World Cup? Yes, yes. Because there were scouts all over the place and uh, we had to, sh to show league that we can, we also have muscle, and that we can we can go out and we can do our, our thing. And that's what we did. That that was the reason for that yes, time. Sure. Yes. I think everyone accepts now that the players are going to be paid, if not directly for what they do on the field, but they will be allowed to be compensated, which hasn't been permitted technically by the RB. It has been. In trust funds and yes. so on. Yes. But been. we're now looking at opening that up, rewarding players more openly, more fairly. What about the public? I mean, we've had this rainbow nation watching this final, united as never before, and the fear has been expressed that now these people, much as Mnet with the cricket, and I remember when the cricket uh, in Australia was going on and Mnet had the rights, and Ali Bacher of United Cricket Board was most concerned because he said, now, just as we're trying to expand the game to all the people, we have a pay station which has it. He had no quibble with them doing business, but he was saying how unfortunate it was. Surely we have a potential problem here that the people just as the wave is about to break and rugby will become the national sport, Murdoch owns it and no one can watch it. I would like to ask Ali Baha one question. If he had to sell the local rights to space station overseas, building much more than free to air, uh, 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 free air, whether he would accept that or whether he would accept the money? But let's ask the, you haven't answered the question I asked, which is, is it not going to be a question of the people in this country not allowed to see the thing because a pay station owns the rights through Murdoch and your average person out there who hasn't got a decoder or access to a satellite will not be able to watch rugby, Curry Cup rugby, never mind international rugby. Why do you say that? You, you I'm asking if this is a possibility. No, no, you may be the host broadcaster. The, the, the question here, though, um, Dr. Late, is that the figure that I've heard now, I don't know if this is correct, I, I do stand to be corrected here. The figure that I've heard is that, Ru that Rupert Mur Murdoch is going to be asking in the region of 50 million rand for the, for the, for the rights to, to local rugby, either to the SABC or to Mnet. Neither of those two stations can afford that kind of money. No, you can't even afford what you're paying now because you wanted to get out of the agreement for the last two years. And that was the surprising aspect when I saw that uh, MNIST said they wanted to bid. Mm -hmm. And they, they together with SABC, wanted to get out of the Curry Cup uh, deal, which is about uh, $5.2 million, uh, dollars, mm -hmm. American dollars, at this point in time for both stations. So, um, uh, uh, no, I, I believe it will be made, made available to you, affordable to you. But uh, to you, you mean the whole country? Yes, to SABC and Mnet. So what is the advantage then of going for Murdoch and, and not going with the old arrangement of SABC one week, Curry Cup, Mnet the next? Why, why go for the Murdoch? Deal? Money. Money is the, the reason. Like I said on, on Friday, when a person asked me, why did you do this deal? I said, there are more than 550 million reasons why we did this deal. But you retain control of rugby? Oh yeah, we only sell the television rights, broadcast and television rights. Have you had discussions with the SABC and Mnet on this? Have they not been not gone behind their backs and broken existing contracts? What, what existing contracts? I don't happen? know. I'm asking. No, I didn't break any contract. Oh, so, no, 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 no. They they wanted to speak to me. Robert Kempton, uh, when we walked in here, said he wanted to speak to me, and uh, uh, Chris Becker of Mnet spoke to me, and I said I kept the door open for you. And he said they didn't want to get into bed with Murdoch. So I said, well, then I can't help you. So he had a choice, did Chris Becker at Mnet? He asked, they wrote to me and said we would like to go into a joint venture or make an offer for the whole, for the whole lot, so to speak. And of course he couldn't make an offer for the whole lot. They don't have that type of money. But secondly, I then said to, to the Murdoch organization that Mnet wanted to do a deal and they said we're willing to talk to them. And when I said to Chris Becker, they're willing to talk to each other. No. So this is business and Mnet had their chance and uh, didn't want to take it? Well, that's what he said to me. Hmm. He said no. He'll, he'll strangle me, he'll throttle me. Mm. And, uh, well, if that's uh, his feeling, that's his feeling. I, I kept it open for him, like I promised. Because he, he, the, the, the reports that have come through have said that, um, that he sent you the letter saying, please can we bid, and that he didn't get any response. He said, we would like to do a joint bid, mm. or for the whole lot. And I kept it open for him for a joint venture. And he said, no, he didn't want it, that was Becker. One was written by Russell McMillan. And the SABC, did they have uh, an option in this way as well? No, they didn't ask me. 
You mean they didn't know about it? Well, yeah, they, they did. How did McMillan, McMillan know about it? Then, then there's something wrong here, isn't it? So either the SABC is not in tune with what's happening. Well, that's what I'm saying to you. But, 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 but surely, Dr. Late, under the, under, under the circumstances, under the broadcasting circumstances in this country, as we stand right now, the only two options for, for people to see any rugby on television is to either go through Mnet or to go through the SABC. Surely you have a responsibility to the South African public to make sure that the SABC are in touch with what's happening here. You, um, you, you admitted yourself that, 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 that a lot of, lot of these discussions that you've had with Murdoch in London over the last couple of weeks have not been completely public, that, uh, public knowledge, that they have to a certain oh, extent gosh. been in secret. Look, I, I'm, I'll, I'll try and protect your job for you, okay? But the, the, I, I can tell you right now that, uh, that you will most probably be the host broadcaster. But you're not That's gonna, not the issue, though. But the Should issue is, job, you see, the, the issue is that for many years, for many years, you got broadcasting rights for nothing. By you, you mean the SABC? The SABC. You will recall that I threw out your cameras at Ellis Park one day. I do recall. You do recall that, because that was first on the news. And I said, do you have permission? They said, no, we don't need permission. I said, you do? How do you go? Well, fair enough. Yeah, and uh, then we started to negotiate price for TV. We got nothing, 10,000 rand a year we got. I, that's, what, 500 people. Mm -hmm. but, but Janet's point is that should not... Uh, could you not have been more candid about this, or is this a business thing that had to be secret in order for it to work? Have you done this type of deal before? Uh, I have, not. I have. Now, you know, this type of deal, you don't tell, tell the whole world what you're doing. Mm. And uh, uh, honestly, uh, that is not the way you do business. But you didn't even tell your executive uh, vice president, Maleki George, on the South African Rugby Football Union. Well, you know, again, I confronted him on Saturday and he said that he was misquoted. I was given a full mandate. You know what that means? A full mandate to negotiate and conclude an agreement. So I didn't have to go back and say, gentlemen, may I now sign? A full mandate means exactly that. So the press has got it wrong in this case? That's what he said. I, I, I still am, am sitting from a position where, don't look at me as a, uh, as a person who works for the SABC now. Look at me as a rugby fan. I'm a rugby fan and I'm sitting at home on a Saturday afternoon and I'm an avid Eastern Province supporter. I want to watch my team play rugby. Am I going to be able to do that in three years' time? Well, it's up to you. Up the to SABC. Up to SABC. I, I promise you, it's up to the SABC. Look, if, if I were Murdoch, yeah. if I were in his position, I would not try and price myself out of a market. Mm. Because it's going to be very difficult otherwise. Because how many people can afford dishes? In other words, if you've got two broadcasters, as is the case at the moment, yes. SABC and Mnet, yes. Murdoch would be mad to Not put it beyond the price of both Sure. Of he wants to sell it. He wants to recoup some of his uh, outlay. But we come back to that original question. If it is the pay station rather than the SABC, the access to the people is reduced. And you haven't really said, I mean, it was this wonderful thing which you were part of on Saturday, this, this whole nation-building exercise, which happened, I think, beyond anyone's wildest dreams. And we've got to be very careful about cutting off television from uh, the, the people. Well, uh, you, were, you were thinking of that. Uh, you've been negotiating to give us less money. We would, have, we would have had less money to do our development, everything. And now all of a sudden, uh, you are a great uh, fighter for the SCBC now and for the public. I, I also want the public, I also want a full stadium because that's how we get our re revenue. But obviously, uh, at a time when you didn't want a bird and I had to say, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go satellite and I'm going to have big screens and town halls or what have you, you will recall two years ago, when you and Mnet got into bed together mm. and you didn't want to pay, I got ten times more on the overseas market for the rights here than you paid me. I had to suffer that. And then I said, all right, if you don't want to pay now, good, forget it. The people won't see it, but you will, you'll be responsible. Mm. And then you did pay. But um, after three o'clock in the morning, mm. I signed with Quentin and Green. Dr. Late, it also sounds as if, I mean, by the way, Jan, neither Janet or I are actually paid by the SABC as employees. Oh, to hear that. We, we happen to come in here. I, I was just going to offer you. And that. we actually are, we're journalists, but we're rugby fans. That's our primary, primary interest here. You, you're a person who has been accused of, of many things. One accusation is that whatever your acumen as a businessman is that you tend to be secretive and you tend to keep it all in your head and then you, you, you take the whole thing and do the whole thing on your own. Is this how you do business? Is it important to you to keep things quiet? to keep things to yourself, to, to then deliver the coup uh, and then take the consequences? Or is this just a perception that's been... Uh, is that how I am portrayed? I think it there is, is an image of this. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But uh, yes, of course, uh, certain things you cannot uh, 
whisper around heaven. You know, if two people know about it, it's 11. Three is 111. Four is 1,111. And you could go on. It's exponential. So, of course, yes, but I always go with the mandate. I never go on my own and say, look, I've done this now, you... Dr. Kamen used to do that. He used to do things and say, fire me, if you don't like it. Mm. I don't do that. I asked for a mandate, which I got. Mm. Um, and after all, I was a rugby player myself. Mm. You played for Free State? I played for Free State and Northern Transvaal. And I played senior rugby when I was 14 years old. And um, uh, so I played provincial rugby for 15 years. So please, uh, I'm a rugby player as well. Mm. Just to clarify the situation, Dr. Late, the, the Bankman deal and the, and the split between the Curry Cup matches between SABC and Mnet as it stands at the moment, that continues until the end of next season, doesn't yes, it? Yes, of course it That's is. unaffected by oh, this yes, deal? Oh, yes, absolutely unaffected, yes. So it's only in 19, the 1997 season that's when that you've got to start yes. sweating that time and you wondering have whether another, they're uh, going to watch rugby or not. Another job or something. Else. <laughs> 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 Why should we sweat? Why can't we just set all this out in the open now? And uh, we saw reports on the, on the, uh, over the weekend of a new Southern Hemisphere Super Series of 12, uh, yes. 12 teams. Yes. We've got the club, um, at least the, the provinces, as in the Super 10. So we're looking at almost a Southern Hemisphere and possibly a World League. Are the traditional Curry Cups and tours going to fall away? How do you see this happening? Uh, okay. If Murdoch, for example, is in charge of this, is he going to look after the fixture arrangement as well, in the way that cricket increasingly has been taken over by the demand for one-day television? I said it before, and I want to say again, categorically, Mr. Murdoch acquired the television and broadcast rights. We will govern the game, and that is how it will be. The Curry Cup games will go on, international tours will go on, you're going to see more internationals because of the tri-series, but then again you've given me the opportunity to, res to respond to something else. The Super 10 uh, was your property, and uh, you couldn't renew it because you only paid about $900,000 for it, and you couldn't renew it. Hence the uh, Super 12 now, mm -hmm. which we had to find a sponsor for, because that is a competition that made the Southern, southern Hemisphere a strong hemisphere. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll be seeing that as well, and uh, you'll see the British Lions. They, they're coming here, uh, 97, and you'll see all the, uh, the, the home unions uh, coming here, uh, hopefully. So uh, you'll see all the rugby as you've seen before. It's more rugby, unfortunately, but you'll see them. Yeah. Dr. Late, I'd just like to say thank you very much for joining us. Um, thank you for putting up with the, with the questions and answering most of them. We do appreciate it. I thought I asked all of them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's Dr. Louis Late, SAFU president, <laughs> as South Africa <laughs> continues to celebrate the, their victory in World Cup 1995. The awards that Dr. Late mentioned earlier on that went to the uh, All Blacks last night, the finest moment of World Cup 1995, that's to Jonah Lomu, and also the finest try of the tournament that went to Josh Cronfeld. <laughs>